Hi everybody, and welcome to another uh, practical chess position. In this position, we have white. It's white to move, and as always, pause your video, try to solve it yourself, and then once you're done, uh, you can unpause and then try to solve it along with me. So white to move here, one thing stands out to me pretty much right away, and that is that I would be concerned that black will sacrifice this exchange and then go knight g6 and try and take this pawn. So let's say we make a random move, whatever. Take, take, knight g6, followed by some exchange here, and I'm not so sure, or, or, you know, followed by winning this e-pawn. I'm not so sure how great this is for white, but objectively the position should be nice. I mean, this bishop's pretty bad, right? However, if we, if we go like bishop f6, he can take on g3, for example. So what to do? I mean, first of all, we may want to just sacrifice that, that g3 pawn. Uh, it looks certainly reasonable to me to do something like that. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of a... I mean, bishop h4 allows knight g6, but we could do something like this. And if knight g6, now bishop f6. For example. And after rook f7, maybe king f2. Uh, now the exchange stack isn't quite as good uh, for various reasons. It's just he didn't win a pawn this time. I mean, bishop h4 is like the kind of safety move. We're, but black has a plan of bishop e8 also to h5, trying to reactivate that bishop. Although we can always stop it with bishop to f3 as soon as bishop e8 is played. So I'm not, I'm not so sure what to do. <coughs> Excuse me, it's got this lingering cough. I probably would just go bishop h4. Bishop f6 is also interesting. I, I can't figure out which one I would choose. I'm kind of leaning towards bishop h4. Uh, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just play this move. I'll, don't allow a sack, and if here I was thinking maybe even here, just kind of keeping the, oh, he's yeah, just keeping the position nice and calm, not allowing him any sacrifices, and then eventually moving the king up, bringing the rook over, and so on. So I'm just going to go for bishop h4. Correct solution. Yay. The natural king f2, with the idea of doubling, it says is bad because of rook takes, pawn takes, knight g6 with serious counterplay. So bishop h4, with the idea of king f2, bishop f3, and, and stuff like putting your rooks on the king side and, and going eventually g2 to g4. So that is the correct solution. Basically, you have to be aware that this exchange sacrifice is a serious option for black, and it, it weakens our e5 pawn, which is crucial. Like, if black ever wins that e5 pawn, then all of a sudden, let's let's say some random move. Let's say he takes with the queen even, and let's say we ah I'm so bad at grabbing the pieces, and you know like eventually he may go e5 and get this bishop out of the game, and then d4 and then bring the bishop to c4 or something. Uh, so the key is to recognize that black will sack the exchange, do something about it, and only then go about our business. So this this position requires some patience and it requires understanding that this exchange sacrifice is a serious option for Black. Um, thanks everyone for watching. In the game, uh, White played Bishop h4. It says also this, this, this pawn sacrifice is pretty good for White too. So it's another reasonable option. Although it thinks Black should sack the Rook and go Bishop e8 to g6 with a stodgy defense. A lot of exchange sacrifices happening. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you tomorrow with another chess position. Bye-bye.